ABC's Alex Prochet, and also former Assistant Secretary for Counterterrorism and Threat Prevention in the Department of Homeland Security, also ABC News contributor Elizabeth Newman. Alex, let's just start with you and talk more about what uh, PRC intel agents tried to do here. Well, Kira, I mean, what we just heard laid out was was, was a number of, of, of instances where the PRC uh, has either tried to meddle in DOJ investigations or or, or threaten uh, of, of, of Chinese dissidents here in the States uh, or even recruit Americans uh, for Chinese efforts. But specifically with this, 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 uh, this Huawei charge, they're saying that two intelligence officers uh, basically worked to what they thought turn a, uh, a, a, a law enforcement, a U.S. law enforcement agent, that agent actually working as a double agent uh, and providing those two Chinese uh, PRC officers with essentially fake documents at the instruction of the FBI uh, in this sting uh, uh, operation. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's, pretty, it, it's, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, they say that this, uh, uh, this, this agent was, was, was bribed with about $61,000 in Bitcoin coin for what these Chinese officers believed was insider information about investigations into Huawei. And Elizabeth, just to put this in perspective, let's talk about why the DOJ was going after Huawei here. If we go back, what, to 2020, the FCC deemed Huawei as a national security threat to, to the United States uh, and, and the, the producing of these telecoms uh, products and, and how it could interfere clearly with, with high-level issues of national security. Put in perspective, you know, why it's important to discuss what the DOJ is doing here and just the overall threat that they have seen Huawei as. Look, it's been uh, mo several years that the national security community has been warning about Huawei, warning about their 5G capabilities. I recall during my tenure at the Department of Homeland Security, we spent a lot of time and energy trying to convey to our international allies that they did not want to be partners with Huawei, that it was dangerous for their national security and for our national security. Um, we see similar conversations around things like TikTok that's been in the news lately, that uh, it's a Chinese-owned company that uh, clearly the government has a lot of influence over and has the ability to use uh, for their purposes. And um, when you hear the national security community saying, hey, uh, we have concerns here, we can't tell you all the details why, um, but maybe you shouldn't use this product or maybe we shouldn't be using this infrastructure. Um, eventually the story comes out why and I think we're starting to see some of that story play out today. Um, the, the bottom line is, is China is an aggressive authoritarian um, uh, country. At times we have viewed them as uh, a, a competitor that steals our technology, that's stealing our intellectual property. But we're also seeing China be increasingly aggressive to some of our allies like Taiwan and uh, not to mention some of the atrocities that have occurred within their own boundaries. Um, so uh, against the Uyghur people. So they are a, uh, not a bad, uh, not a good actor. And when, when the technology aspects of what they can, what they can do um, to hurt us in the free country, it's, it's pretty powerful. So this is what, what you saw on stage today with all of the Department of Justice's senior leadership on stage, like it, it's sending a powerful message. We will take you down, China. We will hold you accountable. And we'll follow it. Elizabeth, Alex, thank you both so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.